Hello, it's Sean and Patrick for the Mini Army Show, and today we have another big one for you. Bring it up here, buddy. Zombie side, black plague, you got that, Savvy. Alright, get rid of the cats. Now, here we are. This is a. Zombie side, black plague? Is, this is a board game called Zombie side, black plague. And the thing about the Zombie side games, buddy, is. Yeah. There's a, there's a bunch of them. They're, they started off as... Um, Modern Hunt. With guns. Yes. It's kind of like the movie uh, or any any kind of z uh, zombie movie. Yeah. And you have guns and you have uh, bats and machine swords guns. and machine guns and stuff like that. We've not played that one. But we went for... They have another version of the game. The second version of the game they brought out is Black Plague. And it's set in the kind of middle... In the time of the Black Plague. In the medieval kind of time. At the time of the Black Plague. And I think they have another one out uh, that's set in um, the... I think they have a sci-fi space era one now. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> You're just slightly distracted by the cat. Yeah. She's hopping all over the place. So... <laughs> We'll open it. There's another big one. This is uh, this this game is about eighty. This is about eighty quid. This is actually more expensive than um, Legend of Dritz. Yes, exactly. This is a bit more expensive than Legend of Dritz. It's a good game, and we're going to open it up, and we're going to show you the um, we're going to show you basics the pieces and basics. Yeah, and we'll show the basics of how the game works. Okay. Open it up there, and see what you get. You get a box inside a box. Uh, there's little holes there to get your fingers in. But the uh, presentation of the box and the artwork is brilliant. And then you have stuff under the box that's inside the box. I open this one up here and we'll see the minis. The... Right, so let me let me get get in there, Klaus. These are the these are the hero characters you get. Survivors. They in the game. And in the game, they have little rubber color coded things to put under, under them. Right? Let me just get them in for the plastic things. Right, so these are the type of quality of the hero characters. And These the things color, are so detailed. The color co corresponds to you get these consoles to organize. Uh, so yes, this so character is called Nelly. And uh, we'll show you the Nelly character. Yeah, I've got her here. So this is the character Nelly that you'd be playing if you're playing that. Uh, it's got the whole history of her. And we've got her assigned to yellow. So little pegs that you go in. Wait, where's the whole history of her? What? They have the whole history of her. In what? Oh, in the book they have a history. In the they, notebook? Yeah, yeah, they have like a little history. What but did here's, that tell me? Hmm, I just did. But well, here's the here's the quality of the bad guys. You get thirty five walkers. Which are zombies. Abomination, one necromancer, fourteen fatties, fourteen murders, thirty five walkers. There's a few different classes of bad guys. There's the standard walkers. Uh, there's the fatties. They're harder to kill. There's the runners. They run. They run uh, two spaces. There's the necromancer. He's necromancer. Really, ne necromancer. He sets up spawn zones. And there's the abomination, where we'll explain how you kill all these specialists. Do you see these little characters, buddy? Yeah. These are modelled by hand by sculptors. Do you know that? They're not three D modelled or three D printed. They're actually made by hand by artists. Take out that level there, buddy, and show what you get underneath it. Show all the stuff that you get in this pack. Wow. It's really well. It's really really well thought out because it's got a place for everything. And here's the amount of zombies in it. There's, no, there, I think there's about seventy in it. But you can see that they've gone to the bother. So when you have the zombies sitting together, of doing different sculpts for them, like, so they've got different poses, different sculpts, so they they look a bit more individual when they're standing beside each other, so they don't all look the same. And so there's all the zombies, oh that's lovely sound, isn't it? 
So there's all the zombies now. Um, get out the cards there, buddy. Let's have a look at them. That's me. So you get six dice. Right in each. Oh yeah. These cards are tiny. Yeah, show us some of the other, some of the things that you get. So these are things that you pick up when you're searching um, rooms, and they have different attributes. Little surpri surprise things when you search rooms. Death so that's a magic spell. Mm. And repeating crossbow. That's. Let's just explain how these see these see these uh, pr uh, parameters here. So the first one near my thumb there, right, is zero yeah. to one. So that means it can shoot one section in the zero zone uh, and the one zone, right? Yes, yeah, so it can shoot. Uh, one the blank. amount of dice it takes to cast this spell is one. No, you have to roll. You get to roll one dice. Yeah, that, yeah, that's what I said. And you have to get a four, four plus, plus to hit. To and hit. It does and it two does two damage. damage. And two damage is very important in this game to because... To kill a fatty. Yeah, yeah. The, Samson, the fatty, nothing can kill a fatty. The fatty needs... Nothing can kill an abomination except Samson with, with anything that does two damage. It, it, and if he's in red level, because you can do plus one That's damage. That's rare though that you get... Here, they can't, you get here, here. So here's something else. Plenty so. of arrows. And so that, that helps. really good. That, that helps, it helps if you miss a shot that has arrows. Yeah, so you get to ah! if you pick up that you get to you get to re-roll um, all ranged attacks. That here's another one. Now, like you can see here, right? Uh, on the attributes here, right? You, you use this in the zero zone. It doesn't go to the next zone. You roll one dice for it, and you need a four up, and it only does one damage. But see that. See that noise, that, that noise that, token there? Yeah. That means it, no it, it makes uses... noise when you open a door with it. And to open a door, you need to roll and... a four there. See there's a four there? Yeah. To, to break open a door with this, you need to roll a four. The axe is it really good. It makes a noise, but if you kill a zombie, it doesn't make a noise. See, it says yeah. no noise. So that's how these cards work. What Here's is this an one? ambush. Oh yeah, so when you're searching a room, you might come across an ambush, one that means more more zombies appear in Next there. Next one's time to walk around the zone you do search. Right, so... You're looking around and then you then a walker attacks you. And you have the consoles here. Like every, everything is... Ooh, apples. Everything in the pack is so well thought out. Just look at this, Patrick. Look, so I'm trying to grab that, I can't get it. But there's, oh, there's a little it. finger grab over here, look. Little finger and grab over there. If, look, if you have a card... There, but that one goes in your backpack. That's the backpack symbol. And it slides off. Yeah, there's not like a little lip there. So you can see the design is all very thoughtful. And you've got your every time oh, you. Oh, Grace, that's so good. Every time you kill a, cat, a zombie, you get one point, and this danger meter goes up. You get a point for every zombie you kill. But when you go into another zone, the game gets harder. And yeah. show us the spawn cards there, buddy. Show us what happens. So you're going to show us if they want to, if they come out. That's so why standard zombies invasion looks like. Right. So give us, give us, a, give us a standard card. Right. So when you're spawning zombies, if you're in the, if you're in the blue zone, you do what it says on the blue zone, and it'll be one fatty. And then as the game, as you go up. It gradually gets harder, so it's two runners. So what that is is that is the game mechanics actually trying to tell you that yeah, the well, better it's... you get, the harder the game tries to kill you. Yes, exactly. It's the difficulty level of the game actually increasing. So essentially, it's got four difficulty levels as you get better at playing the game, as your meter goes up, the game re reacts by getting slightly harder and giving you. Uh, worse zombies coming out at you. So, clever. Right, buddy, we're going to have a look at how a game might look. So, right, we've got it. This is the proper, the proper way set up. Yeah, this is just a demonstration. So, in the, in the uh, book, you get a demonstration of how the game should be set up, and it has the numbers of the cards. And these are the back cards that you use, the backgrounds. And there is nine of them in the box which are double sided so there's actually 18 of them so there's lots of variety on the backgrounds that you can use and this is a typical setup now as I said you're copying 
what's set up here. You'll put doors where the doors would be, yeah, and you end up with a game like this. So we're pretending then uh, in this game, right? Uh, Samson's had his uh, had his go, and now it's Silas's Silas go. So he has he is because he's here. He's on second level. So he gets plus one action. So how many actions has he got? Four. So each action is a move on or, each or zone. Or an attack. Or an attack. Or so you take your go there and okay. see what he what he does. He's got four actions, yeah. So. Yeah. So one. One, two, and he's gonna hit that door with my sword. He's gonna break I open get that door. Two, I get two dice four and four plus to knock down that door. And you need to get a four or more. I got a five and a six. So that door is busted open. But, now But you spawn zombies for every Yeah, room. but we like so we won't we won't bother doing the zombies in the room, but you do you spawn the zombies for each room and each adjoining room. But what we'll do is we'll show when when the the human players have had their go, then let's let's say it's gone into the zo the zombie phase. So here's a typical walker. Oh, also, runners can move two spaces. So yes, yeah, so where the typical walker here, he gets to move up a zone, right, mm -hmm. closer to you. Uh, the the runner he gets to move two. So boom, boom. He's now in the zone with Samson. Uh, it uh, takes it takes one action for each zombie in the zone that you're moving out of. Yeah, it's. And you can't uh, move into the zone with zombies. If you move into it, you stop moving. Yeah, you can move into the zone, but you can't move through it. Until you next go. Yeah, it it's kind of stops you, and you have to pay an action for every zombie in the zone. Like it's, you're pushing it. Yeah, it's the out equivalent of, the of you're pushing that zombie out of the way. So let's see what happens when you spawn. So the zombies, what they do is they move. They do their move. And if they were in a zone, their action would be attacking. And yeah. then you do the spawning, right? So say if we're spawning for this zone and then that zone. For this zone first. Flip you the card get, over there, buddy. And what you do you... get two fatties. Oh, good. So the... Two fatties from here uh, would be uh, no. There's oh. there's enough there, buddy. So fatties. two fatties would be added there. They are so. And fat. then you flip out your spawn for the next zone, and in this case it would be four walkers. Four walkers. We're in the yellow because one of the players has made it into the yellow zone. So spawn the four the four. <sighs> right, and now the that's the zombies would have taken their round, and don't they look cool? All these little, these little ghouls coming to try and eat you. So they've had taken their goal, and then it would be Sam, Samson's goal, and he. Is he gonna bash that runner's head in? Yes, that's exactly what Samson intends to do: is to bash that runner's head in and end him. Right. But, uh, if... End him again because he already died. Exactly. Exactly. He's a zombie, so he ends and then he ends again. Re-kill him. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's the game. The game. That's how the game works. It's, um, you've got objectives. You're going in. You're trying to get things like this. And once you get that Our objective... give you five experience. Points. Yes. So there's a few objectives. And as we were saying before, here's the console. So you've got these little pegs that keep note yeah. of where so you are in the game. If it says zero, you've taken zero hits. And if it's three, then you've taken three That's hits. And you're, that's your and life. You are, <laughs> you are dead, right? You've got your left and right hand that you can hold weapons in, and you've also got a backpack where you can have a selection of things uh, that you've found. You can have five cards in your backpack. Exactly. If you discard the apple from your backpack, you can move one. All right, so we got the medieval version of it because this is the... Because uh, we like medieval yeah. games. That's Zombicide, and uh, it's a great game. We just did it. We did it simplified. Yeah, a very simplified version of it. The little characters are fantastic looking. Yeah. How, are they, how do, do they get you can't them actually so see, detailed? I will put up a few photographs. But So, there's, as we were saying, there's tons more in the game that right. we've shown. We've just shown right. a simplified... Double spawn the necromancers. Yeah. And just a necro for a short. Yeah, exactly. And it's a great game. The there's the graphics are brilliant. The uh, production of the whole thing is is first rate. Uh, and if you if 
you see this and you like this game and you think you're going to buy it, one thing to be careful of is there are loads and loads of expansions and loads of different versions. Like, like Wolfsburg. Like Wolfsburg. Oh, Wolfsburg. No, sure yeah. yeah, so if you were to buy Wolfsburg, I think you need you need this version of the game to use that expansion. So you just have to be careful. There's I think there's three main core games. There's the the modern the zombie side. The modern there's Black Plague. And there's, I don't know. There's another one. Oh, oh, what's it called? What's it called? It's a sci-fi one. Oh, what's it called? No, no. That's the one that has those, the, um, artillery. Or, I mean, catapults. Uh, yeah, I think that, I think that's an expansion one you're thinking of. There's, there's one with a helicopter as well. Have you seen that one? No, I can't go. There's one where it has a platform. It's a modern one, and it has another platform up here, so you you can quick rope down your helicopter and stuff like that. That's the modern one, though. But anyway, there's loads of expansions, so you just have to you just have to if you think you're going to buy the game, you just have to be sure that you're buying the core set and not an expansion because there's tons and tons of expansions. It's a very very popular game, and we love it. And uh, there's only there's only one slight thing. Uh, uh, negative, I would think and about the game. And the it takes to play. Yes, it takes ages to play it. It takes. It ages. takes lo Once it took us four hours. Four hours, yeah, and. Uh, once it took us three hours. Yeah. So. It never took us a minute. Yeah, so it's the length of a long movie, and it's yeah. it's not the kind of thing that I would say to Patrick go off and play the PlayStation for the next four hours, but mm. uh, but it's a bit more sociable no than that. No play. No, no one in this house will play the PlayStation for four hours. You would if you let you. No, I wouldn't. Yes, you would. No one. Yes, you would. I, d I disagree with that. I, one. I, actually, I, no, I disagree, but you disagree. Let's agree to disagree then. No, no, let's agree that I wouldn't play the PlayStation for four hours. You absolutely would. No, I wouldn't. You so would. I so <laughs> would. The longest I played video games was like, I like it three. Like four hours and a half, yeah. or maybe three hours. If you had your way, we would have to prize your fingers off the off the PlayStation. If you had your way, you 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 ha you're very good though. You only do an hour or so on the on the machine. You only get one or two hours a week, and that's it. We keep it limited. So, but anyway, we love Zombicide. Mm. That's that's all about Zombicide. The only thing is, it, what the way me and Patrick play it is, we uh, it takes so long. We only do have we, objectives. yeah. We take away some of the objectives. We have ways of quick uh, making it go a bit faster. We start in the uh, later zone, the in the level danger two. level. In uh, danger level two. Yeah. You so take an extra weapon to put in our backpack. Yeah. But you can you easily say goodbye to two hours if you start if you open up the box of this and start playing it. But that, anyway, that's all from um, the Mini Army Show, Sean and Patrick about Zombicide, Black Plague. We love it. Uh, um, check out other reviews if you if, you, yeah. if you're thinking of buying it. And uh, that's all from this Mini Army Show. If you like it, tell a friend. If you don't like it, tell an enemy. And hit the subscribe and bell icon. That's what everyone yeah. says on YouTube videos, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so that's all from us. Bye. Bye. <laughs>